Hi everyone, Rini here, and welcome to my channel. So with Bitcoin still feeling under the weather, so to speak, the current price is below the weekly moving average and the weekly 21 EMA. Most of your altcoins, especially our gaming cryptos, are either bleeding or they're just hanging out where they are. So my non-financial advice is take a look at your token. When it's bleeding like that, if you really like the project, then DCA accordingly. There's not much to talk about from a technical analysis perspective. Then just keep buying in. Because for those of you who are coming into the crypto space now, this is another great accumulation phase before a subsequent leg forward. So I thought I would do something different and really give you guys my personal take on the state of the market right now and what do I think will happen moving forward. So let me go to my trusty digital board in order to explain my concepts and thoughts. Here we go. So of course, there are many reasons why the Bitcoin price drop. It is always a mix of fundamental and technical. In this video, I just focus on the technical because to me, force-fitting news into price action may be good for the short term, but if you're always doing that, that doesn't really explain everything. So in my opinion, majority of the price action on why Bitcoin price is so suppressed boils down to two major things. One is a lot of people have really been brainwashed into thinking that Bitcoin has a four-year cycle. And if you watch my Bitcoin video before, and if you've been following the people I've been following on YouTube, like Benjamin Cohen, you know that that has never been the case. In Bitcoin's four cycle history has only happened once. But the problem with that is twofold. One is because a lot of people have been talking about that. You have all of these crypto influencers saying that Bitcoin is going to go to 200 million thousand dollars by December of 2021. You have all of these people believing that that's the case. And then when they see that Bitcoin is still hovering around four to six thousand dollars, then they're very confused. So there's a lot of emotional selling going on from a retail perspective because they've been given lies and false promises. So that's the first reason. The second major reason, which is largely connected to the first one, is the current Bitcoin price action is a result of the market eating up all of these leveraged longs position. What do I mean? It's because everyone has been conditioned that December has to be a very positive month. December has to be a parabolic rally. You have a lot of leveraged positions, meaning people are betting that the Bitcoin price will go up. So the way to invalidate those and the way to take the money from the retails who are making these bets is you crash the price down, you short Bitcoin, so to speak, in order to liquidate all of those long positions and whoever's been doing that will be taking all of the money. This is the current chart of all of the liquidations. And if you look at it, majority of those getting wrecked, they're betting long in December, especially for this particular bar right here. But what is my outlook moving forward? Given the historical data, if you look at the charts, we are pretty much in a lengthened cycle. There is no reason why the crypto markets have to end anytime soon. So whether it's end of the year, whether it's Q1, that is actually a very good thing if you're a crypto investor. You want the cycle to really last as long as possible so that all of the games that we invested in are fully mature at that point where you have giant player bases and your investments have really gone up in value over time. So that's a good thing. A longer cycle also allows you to accumulate a lot more to take advantage of dips like this. Just wait long enough and you will receive 10, 50, 100x gains. If you're patient, if you keep accumulating, and if you keep investing in the right projects. So what I have here is the chart of the crypto total market cap. So that includes Bitcoin and every crypto so far. As you can see, we are still in a healthy state. The current dumps in December correspond to this region right here. All of the emotions, all of the Twitter rants, all of those influencers calling for, are we in a bear market? That is pretty much this particular structure right here. So we are still holding up key levels of support. We may be below the 21 EMA right here, but we are still way above the 55 EMA. If I overlay the Fibonacci, so this is your local high and this is your local low right here, we are currently sitting between the 1618 and the 1414 right here. So there is still no break in structure. And what we're doing is we're pretty much hanging out in this Fibonacci chasm right here. When I look at the crypto total market cap, excluding Bitcoin right here, look at where we are. We are sitting pretty nicely on the 21 EMA right here. So the overall market is still in a very healthy state and is still just hanging out. When I overlay the Fibonacci, right now, the altcoin space is sandwiched between the 21 EMA and the 1414 Fibonacci extension right here. So you may be wondering, sure, we're here now, but where are we going moving forward? So if we follow the Fibonacci and we follow the historical 
a cent of Bitcoin. We know that the 2.72 is really a vital Fibonacci destination that Bitcoin has historically gone through. So given the maturity of the altcoin space, if we lay this local top and, and if we lay this local bottom right here, then where are we going? We are most likely headed to this 2.72 of around $11 trillion for the entire crypto space. Will we get there by end of the year? Sure, why not? That means having a candle that kind of looks like this which is the most realistic candle that I've ever seen in my life. So we'll get there. I would welcome a much calmer march towards the 2.72 rather than a violent uptrend like this. And you should too. If you like my video, hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, let me know what you think in the comments. If you also have other gaming cryptos that you would like me to look at, just leave it down in the comments below and I'll take a look at it in the future. Until then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.